Um, this is what we're gonna do this time. So this is the tactical analysis of the gross game against Enco. So the three things that you see over here in the upper corner uh, is the three little uh, ovals that just for me to mark the players and the spaces whenever I need to talk about it, right? So let's start. So on this one, I believe it's a throw-in for the other team, yes. So the ball is getting thrown in. Wingy gets the ball, plays the striker. Striker takes 1v1. And the play pretty much dies, right? Yeah. So going back, let's go back to it quick. Okay. Wingy gets the ball, which is a good thing, right? So if you think if you see it right now, right, I have one striker over here. Which I believe. Okay, we have one striker over here. And my other striker that's supposed to be here. Okay, right about here is where my other striker should be. Or even deeper. Or let's just say right here. It's all the way over here in the attacking mids position, right? So that's the first thing, right? That's wrong with this play. So I need to have my, my a striker over there, and now my attacking mid should be supporting the winger right above the space, right? In between defender and defending, between this defender and this defender, right? I should have my attacking mid right here connecting the play. Instead, excuse me, instead, a winger plays the ball to the striker. And now that's fine. The striker receives the ball in a pretty good, in a, in a pretty good space right now, right? So let me mark the striker right now with ball. So striker is about to receive the ball in a pretty good space, right? But right then, okay, my striker is not doing anything else. And the only thing that he has to do right now, she has to do right now, instead of playing forward, notice something, right? If the striker takes the touch forward, now she'll be going up against one, two, three, four, five, and six defenders against one, right? So there's no chance that we can go forward in this play. So my striker should be receiving this ball and try to play it back over here, right? To the attacking me that should be in this space coming in and not here. See, if the attacking me was in previously in this space, she would have been here already supporting the striker's ball. And from there, we would have got the play it out. Instead, we decide to play forward. And then there's nothing going forward. And we lose the ball. Okay, now let's go to a different play. Okay, let's watch this one now. Ball is right over here. Sanami has the ball. Place the other hold the man. Hold me open so place the outside back. Outside player plays the striker. Striker opens it up to the wing. Wing plays the striker in the space, which is a good play. Crosses it back. And we got a shout out. Oh, that's perfect. So that one over here is an amazing, I think it's just, it's just a great play. And that was one minute and 24 seconds into the game. Imagine how quickly we created a chance, right? So let's look at it again, which I believe this is a great play. Holding a center defensive man has the ball right now. Right, so we all can see it. Center defensive me has the ball right now. This is where my other holding is, which is a great, which is a great position, right? Attacking mid should be right in between them. Look where my attacking mid is right now. Should be right about here. But I take that space. It's it's a good it's it's a good angle. We have the winger in the space. We got outside back over here, forming another triangle between the winger and the center mid, and then we have the other outside back in here, which is good. I like the winger right now. Winger is recognized, and the ball is gonna switch. So she's getting wider, so which is good. So let's notice it. Okay, we play the outside back, outside back open. So okay, now notice something. Okay, my attacking, my center defensive mid in the opposite side, right here. Notice that she never once checked her shoulder to see where everybody was, where everybody was. She can tell, you can tell that she's in the space, but she never realized what was around her. Right. So look, again, she's not checking her shoulders. She's just looking at the ball, but notice something. Okay, defender is getting closer up, and she's still standing in the same spot, right? So she should have been right about over here. 
keep it in mind where the defenders are. So we get Richie receives the ball. Okay, good touch back, open so plays the outside back, outside back, open so. And in this play, it's phenomenal, right? So notice something. My winger gets wider, okay, like you see over here. And because she gets wider, now she pulls the player that was with her, that was initially here, she pulls her out with her, leaving that gap in the middle. And look, they hold the mid, and they're holding the mid, they're clueless to where the striker is. So that's actually a good pass from my also back, recognizing the space in between the two center, center defensive mid that they have, or the, actually this is their winger, and this is the defensive mid, right? So in between the winger and the defensive mid, recognizing the striker in the space, which is a great ball, okay? So that ball is being played in there. Well done. Now my wing, there you go. Place the winger and the hold that again, right? So now this is a great, this is a great um, attack over here. Winger gets the ball, striker's recognizing the run in behind the outside back. And notice that when the striker makes that run, she pulls the defender with her and the defender with her leaving the space in the middle open, right? Which is what we want. So we play the ball out. There you go. And now notice, right? So the moment that she plays the ball, center back gets pulled out, outside back gets pulled out, and now all the space is over here in the middle where nobody is. That's where my attacking me should be going. Instead, look where my attacking me is, right? My attacking me should be way over here. Actually, that's not my attacking me. That's my striker. My striker should be all the way up here while my attacking me should be at the PK spot by now, right? Or in this case, since, you know, let's just go with the play, right? In this one, my, my winger's making a good run because he's making a run central. Now my other striker should be at least at the PK spot waiting for that ball, right? So my striker makes a great decision. And look, the winger's the one that's coming into that ball. But then my center defense and attacking man is the one getting the ball over here at the top of the box. Now on this one, look, it's at the PK spot. Ball is coming to the, to the attacking me with nobody around them, right? That should be a finish. That should be a finish. It's easy. So place, place it in the net. Stay straight to the keeper, straight to the middle. But it should be, a, it should have been a finish from there, right? But in all, that was a great attack. There's things that could have been better, but um, but I'll take it. Okay. So now let's just watch this play now. Two twenty four. Okay. So now let's watch this play. It's a throw in, the ball is right here. Okay, ball is over here We're in a throw in. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's a throw in right there. Okay, that's where the play actually starts. Okay, hold on, play it back, attack him in open so, and we lost the ball. Okay, so now that play, okay, one thing that I want you to realize in this play, okay, even though we didn't get anything out of it, it's positioning, right? So notice something in this play. My center defensive mid, look how close she is into the space, right? And she's, again, she's not aware of the guy next to her, right? And even if she is, look where she is. Now my striker is it's where she's supposed to be, right? In the space of it and my winger stretching the field out right if we stand like that there's no space for my attacking mid which she wrecked she's actually doing a great job my attacking mid over here i believe it's kylie right kylie's great making a great run in behind maura my center defensive mid because she recognized that maura didn't recognize the space that she should have been in and then she's getting in there right well that's a good run it would have been easier if my center defensive mid would have been here if my center defensive mid, it's right in the space. Now, what happened to this defender is she either stays there or goes in here. She goes out. Now, Kylie, my center attacking mid, doesn't have to make that run behind her, but she would have been in that space already. Instead, that's just hard. That's just that's just a hard um, way to receive that ball since it's still too close to the players and there's no space. And now, when we lose the ball in there. And hold. Okay, when we lose the ball in here, my center defensive mid should have been here. Right? If we lose the ball in there, the first guy to defend 
should have been my defensive mid that's deeper in the play, right? Notice something, right? It, while my outside back, instead of playing it back to the attacking mid, should have found my center defensive mid that was wide open, okay? She made the play to the attacking mid, and now attacking mid loses the ball, but then it's way too late. Pulling, notice something that happened, right? The guy that was open got pulled to try to get the ball, which is their job, leaving nobody in the middle, and that just, you know, that's just a ball that, that fortunately we got back, right? But that all, that all started, and I want you to see that, right? That all started over here on the throwing, right? We do a better job on positioning and throwing. My center defensive mid should have been right where she was supposed to be, and we would have got the ball out in there, right? Also, like I said before, right? My um, outside back, as she's receiving the ball with no pressure, she should be able to see the open guy through the middle. Instead of playing the ball, noting that there's one defender right in front of her, right? Okay, so now let's move on to the next play. This is the next play. So ball is all the way down here. Play this striker. Striker gets the ball, takes a 1v1. Okay, so same thing again, right? It's good finding the striker, but too quick to go forward, right? So in this moment, okay, look, we only three minutes in the game, right? And we've been too impatient, too impatient about what we're doing as a team. So the ball, see where the ball starts, right? The ball is right here with our outside back. It's right here if you can see, it, right? So now my winger. It's getting all the way open, get okay, in the open space. There's nobody there with the winger. So ball gets to the winger. As we can see, winger opens up. And now notice, okay, as the winger opens up, the other player, the, def the defensive player, is coming in from her right side. Therefore, leaving the space all the way over here to her right side where the striker is attacking the ball, which is a good play, right? We find the striker in there. Notice that we find the striker in that space. But then again, right? The striker receives the ball like in the very first play that we ana that we analyzed, right? The striker is getting the ball. There's nothing forward. There's one, two, three, four, five v one. Actually, five v two because the other striker is there, and still we're going forward. No, 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 no. This is the moment to bring it all the all the way over here to where my winger is in this space, right? Instead, my striker that's there should be able to recognize that. If I'm the striker and I get the ball, look, we are half of the field. There's no moment to attack right now. Our whole team is all the way in our defensive half. So what we want to do in that case is get the ball, maybe find the attacking me, which is in a great position. Attacking me can find the other striker over here, and the striker can switch it to the winger, which will be on a 1v1 with the outside back, right? Instead, we try to go forward right away, and then we dribble out of bounds, right? But now... In that one, we gotta be patient enough that we can get the ball and switch, right? Now let's just go uh, to another um, scenario. Okay, on this one, my center back has the ball, right? That's what we have the ball right now. Center back has the ball. Play the center mid, center mid plays the outside back, outside back plays the winger, and we lose the ball. Right, so now on this one, okay, what I want you to see is a lot of the times in the game we have more time that we get to that, that we're able to see, right? That we're able that we're able to know, right? Center back has the ball. Now the first thing over here is my center back recognizing the better option, right? Over here, yes. While my holding me is in a good position, she doesn't know who's behind her and where the defenders are. Over here, as the ball is going to my center back. My holding mid on the opposite side should be checking her shoulder. That way she understands where the space is. Also, my center, my outside back is way too close to the center back. My outside back should be going, should be going this. Should be going all the way over here, leaving a little bit more space 
for the center back to play that the keeper, the, the outside back, or the center defensive man. Now, my center defensive man, if she realizes where the defender is, she should have got right about here. Right now, we have our holding mid over here, our outside back all the way out, and now we leave the space. The attacking mid now has free space to come in between them, right? Holding mid, it's marking the uh, attacking mid. And also the winger, look, she is in a great position because she understands right now that the ball is going to switch, So, which is what I want. Instead, let's see what happened on the play again. So you guys can see my outside back, yeah, she's going back now, but it's not enough just to go back. I want you to go back into your left side. That way you create more space for yourself. Instead, look, my center back plays the center defensive bit when she could have played just the outside back. We had enough time for her to open up and play it over here. Still though, center defensive mid recognized that the one touch and now my outside back take a, takes a, a positive touch forward, okay? Which is not bad, she's still far away from the defenders and has a lot of time to find the winger. Look, the winger's no marked, that's the option. Can we find the winger to feed? Okay, maybe it was a technical mistake in there. But that's how the play ended, right? So we, we get to desperate at times when we have a lot of space and time to create. So let's not rush it. And we're rushing it because we have no idea what's going around us, right? Okay, so let's go on to the next play. Okay, let's watch this play. Now, boom, I believe my holding me has it right about here. If you see it, okay. So we'll just play this one. Place the winger, uh, the outside back. Outside back, place the winger. And hold it down. Okay, so now, okay, back again. Same same thing, but now as players, we have to recognize where we want to play the ball. So now I want you to see something quick. Okay, my holding me has the ball in here, right, which is good. Now let's just judge everybody's position here, right? Holding me has the ball. Now my other holding me, again, she's only looking at the ball. She's not recognizing anything, right, where the spaces are. If my holding me is in here, my other holding me is in here, look, we have something great. We see the dashness in the field. So the other holding should be checking their shoulders and getting in the space over here, right? Being an option for the for the attack, for the center defensive mid, away from everybody, and or look at my outside back, right? My outside back is still too close to my center back. If we have the ball, I want that outside back, okay? If As we can see, I want that outside back all the way over here, right? That way, the center defensive mid can play that ball comfortably and nobody around them will get it, right? So we find our outside back, which is good. She opens up and hold again, right? So now notice my center defensive mid. If she was, if she, if she understood where she was on the field, she would have been here already, right? Away from this defender, away from that defender, and away from this defender. Instead, she's still looking at the ball, but walking towards the defender over here. My center defensive man should have been here by the time my other holding me had the ball. And when this outside back gets the ball, she should have got here, right? Instead, look at my winger. My winger is too far off from the play, and she has to come back because my center defensive man couldn't, couldn't have been there. Now, I, I, want to, I want you to see something quick, right? So my outside back now knows that she's playing the ball. Look, my outside back is receiving the ball. And now she now knows that she's going to find the winger because my holding mid wasn't here. Now, she's finding my winger, but notice something, okay? My outside back should see, okay, where pressure is in comparison to my uh, winger, right? So pressure's coming from the middle, pressure's coming from there. The space for the winger, it's all the way over here, right? That's where the space is for the winger. So that ball that's being played, Instead of, being, instead of playing it to feed, let's play it into the space so she can attack it okay, with an option. Instead of playing that ball to feed where the defenders are closer, right? So now watch what happens, right? The ball is not played to feed. The, actually, the ball is played to feed, but no. 
into the space. If you place it into this space, now this this guy is still farther from the ball, right? Instead, my winger on that one, she takes a bad touch. And then the guy closer down, right? The player closer down. So now let's move on to the next play. Okay, this is a good one. So it's basically good coming out of the pack on this play and switching the fields. And the outside has to, yeah, let me see. So, outside, there you go. So now on this one, let's just watch the play first and then we analyze it. Keeper gets a ball, plays the outside back. Outside back tries to play the middle, finds the striker instead. Striker turns, finds the defensive man. It's a good ball, but it should have been in the ground. Plays the uh, plays the center back. Center back plays the ball to the outside back. And outside back brings us back into pressure. Almost lost the ball in that one. And then we got it out, but it's too late on this play. We give the ball away again. Okay, so now I want you to see something. Okay, there's good things and not so many good things about the play. The good thing is that we we switch the fields. Okay. The bad thing is that we didn't switch it um, at the right time, and we should have, right? Also, the position of certain players, right? But let's go back to where the keeper gets the ball. Keeper's getting the ball. Now, as the keeper's getting the ball, my outside back, look, my outside back, my defensive players are being lazy about positioning right now, right? So now, if you notice something, okay, my outside back, hold on, I'm playing with this. My outside back should have been all the way wide. Right, giving more space for this for the keeper to find her. Okay, remember support right, left, and middle. Right, so I needed my outside back all the way over here, away from the player. Right, and my other outside back, since my center back is not in her position, okay, I need my other back outside back all the way here. Okay, that way we create more space for the keeper to make a decision. Keeper on that one should have opened up and played the outside back on this one. Instead, it's not about play, right? Let's just go on with the play because at the end of the day, you know, players will make the decisions they want to make in the field. So the best we could do is position ourselves and be prepared for whatever plays in front of us, right? So now our keeper plays the outside back, dangerous ball on that one. Okay, and I want you to look at this, right? So my center defensive mid, she's recognizing the pressure, right? Which is good. And then she started backing up slowly into the space, right? The two things she could have done is she recognized pressure here, right? But she also should understand where the attacking mid is, right? Instead of only recognizing pressure, if she checks her shoulder and sees the pressure over there, I will get in this pos in a position over here where the space truly is for the holding mid, which is closer. And then that gap, leave it for the attacking mid, right? But instead, let's see what happens, right? It's not a bad movement by my center defensive mid, which is backing up in the space, but now look at her position, right? She's backing up in the space, but she's sideways, right? In that one, she's gotta back up and get in the space actually, right? Instead of just going that way, right? That's what she misses the ball because she's not even ready to receive the ball on that one. See what happened? Miss the ball in that one. As that happened, again, my center defensive mid, she just watching the play happen. She just to recognize the space and immediately shift over, right? Recognizing that that's an open space for the striker on the ball, right? So my striker on the ball holds a little longer. And now notice this winger is making the run. And what that does is holds this player back. Notice that, see, holds that player back. And that ball goes to the center defensive man. Center defensive man now plays the center back, which is good. Center back does a great job by recognizing where the space is, switching the fields. Look, we have one, two, three, four defenders in here, and only one defender here. And look, we have winger and outside back against one defender over here. So that's clearly where we want to go. If you notice something in this play, look where the whole team is. And it happens in a lot of games. Look at the whole. We have one. Actually, we have one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven players get all the way on the right side of the field. Now, if you draw a line in midfield all the way to the PK but the PK spot, they have one and two players, and we have one, two, 
and possibly three. So we have a 3v2 if you see Sheffield. So now my center back makes a great decision because she finds okay, the uh, outside back on the line. Outside back should be known, should know that the moment that the holding me plays that ball to the center back, she should be checking her shoulders, knowing where the defender is and where the space is for the winger. So when she gets the ball, notice what happens, right? Ball is coming to her, and that one she has to open up and find the winger immediately. Instead, look at the gap between the defender and the ball and my outside back. My outside back is already opened up with the winger open. But I know, we know that our outside back is not thinking about passing the ball. Our outside back is thinking about chopping it back. And immediately she chops it back. And now chops it back again. And that, that play that she should have played on the, that play she should have made on the first pass, she delayed it too long. And now we cannot play. Therefore, the wing the winger couldn't control that ball, it goes out of bounds.